Let's do some simulation to enrich our lesson on graphing linear equation, interpreting slopes, visualizing intercepts, and writing the equation of a line. In this simulation, we are going to use the FET that Colorado website, courtesy of the University of Colorado. We are not associated with that university, and this simulation materials that we are going to use is entirely owned by that university. So all credits go to the University of Colorado for this simulation. We are going to provide the URL address to go to that website in the description of this video. When you first go to the website fet.colorado.edu, this is the homepage that you can see. You go to the upper right-hand corner, look for the drop-down menu simulations, and select math. You can see a lot of different simulations available in that website. In this demonstration, we are going to select graphing slope intercept. Then select this icon, and you will see these two options, one labeled slope intercept and the other is line game. The first one we are going to use for a short review and this second option we are going to use for enrichment activities. So let's begin with a short review. So let's begin with this line. The line has an equation of y equals 2 over 3 x plus 1, which is now this equation. What happens to the line if I change this value, let's say I make it 2, or I make it 3, 4, 5, and so on. Or what happens if I make the values lower? Notice that the line slides up and down, and that is the function of this y-intercept. The line goes up and down, but the steepness of the line does not change. Conversely, if I drag this point up and down, this number here, which is the value of the b, also changes. So there is a direct relationship between the location of this point, which is the intersection of the line and the y-axis, and the number that you can see here as the value of b. We now say that this b is the y-intercept, and graphically, that is the point of intersection between the y-axis and the line. Now, what happens if we change the value of this coefficient of the variable x? Let's say we make this 3, or we make that 4, or we make that 5. Or what if we make it lower? Let's say negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. Changing the value of the slope has an effect of rotating the line. And at some point of your rotation, when you arrive at division by 0, you will notice that you have here an undefined slope. And when the slope becomes negative, the line is falling down when you read from left to right. Then conversely again, I can move around this point, rotate the line, and the slope will also change here. So how do we determine the slope when we are given this graph? We can think of drawing a vertical line segment and a horizontal line segment in order to connect two points on the line. Let's say in this case, we go up three units and then we go right three units and so our slope is three over three. Let's change that. In here, in order to go from this purple point to this blue point, I have to go up five units and I have to go to the right three units. So the slope now up the line is Chains in y, which is 5, which is this number, and chains in x, which is 3, which is also this denominator. So the slope, therefore, is the chains in y divided by the chains in x. I can drag this line without changing the slope. Even if the line is here, the chains in y over chains in x is still 5 over 3, and so the slope does not change. Only the y-intercept is changing. So you look at this number as I drag, that number, which is our b, is the one that's changing, but our slope remains constant. And because of that, the steepness of our line does not change. So with that as our short review, let's go now to our enrichment activity. So you go back to this page and click on line game. There are four levels in our enrichment activities, 
And I'm going to show you what you can expect from these four levels and for the application of this in our classroom and even in our virtual classrooms, the teachers can lead the class in solving this enrichment activity or the teacher can assign this link to their students. The students themselves can work on this independently. We are at level number one, set the y-intercept. We have the equation y equals one-third x plus whatever is the y-intercept of this line. Clearly, from this line, the intersection between the y-axis and the green line is at x equals 0 and y is equal to 4. So our y-intercept is 4. So we now change this with 4 and click on check to see if our answer is correct. And if our answer is correct, we got a score of 2 points and a check mark here. Then we click on next. Here, we are asked to set the y-intercept again. Then here, we know that the y-intercept is at negative 3, so we make this negative 3. And then click on check. And we got two points again. And we click on next. This time, we are asked to set the slope. The slope is given to be 3 over 5, and the y-intercept is negative 1. We are now at the right y-intercept. We need to adjust this blue point so that the slope is 3 over 5, meaning we go up 3 units, 1, 2, 3, and we go to the right 5 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we should end up here. Let's check again. 1, 2, 3, 3 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 to the right. And then let's check. Again, our answer is correct. Let's have another one. Set the y-intercept. The y-intercept is negative 2. So we need to move this point to negative 2. And the slope is 2 thirds. Go up 2 units. Go right 3 units. That's correct. And click next. Let's have one more example before we go to the second level. We have the equation y equals 5 over 2 x plus 2. So in order to set the slope in our graph, our slope is 5 over 2, meaning we are going to move 5 units up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we are going to move 2 units to the right, 1 and 2. So let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 units up, and 2 to the right. Y-intercept is at 2. And let's check. So our answer is correct. So at this point, we have just done our level number one. Let's go to level number two. In here, it's the opposite. You are given the line. You are the one to write the equation. We are asked to find what is the y-intercept. The y-intercept here is positive six. So let's change this with positive six. And let's check. Let's go to the next example. Again, you are given the graph. You are going to write the equation. The y-intercept is at negative 6, so it's correct. And our slope, notice that from this negative 6 to go to this point, we do not know the exact location. But we can identify places in our graph where the intersection is clear. So this point has a coordinate of 4 and positive 1. So from negative 6 to go to positive 1, we move up 7 units. And then we go to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. So go up 7 units and to the right, 4 units. Let's check if we identify the right point. And our answer is correct. Let's have another one. So in the next example, we are asked to set the y-intercept. Given the line equals negative 4 over 3x minus 9, we are going to drag this line to negative 9, go to the y-intercept of negative 9. And then let's check. We are correct. And then y equals 5x plus 10, set the slope. The slope is 5 units up and 1 unit to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's check. To go from this blue point to this black point, we go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's correct. 
and we go to the right one unit, one. And the y-intercept is at positive 10, so our answer must be correct. Now, we will not demonstrate the rest of the activities for this level, so we can go to the next level. Let's see what's in level number three. So in level number three, we are going to make the equation. So you can see the progression from identifying the slope in the y-intercept, and now we are going to write the equation. Given this line that's color green, write the equation of the line. First, we know that this intersection between the y-axis and the green graph is our y-intercept, and that is y equals 6. So let's move this to 6. And for our slope, from this point, to go to that point, we have to go up 6 units, and we need to go to the right 10 units. So up 6, and go right 10. But notice that I can also get the same slope by starting here and going to this point because the coordinate of this point is exactly negative 5 and positive 3. So I can change this with positive 3 and change this with positive 5. They are the same because the slope of a line is constant whatever two points you take although some points are hard to identify when the values are not exactly integers. So let's see if our answer is correct. It says we are correct. Let's have another one in this level. It says put the points on the line. We are given this equation. We are going to put these three points on the line. First, the y-intercept is at positive 4. So we can put this at the y-intercept. Then we can now assign values for x and compute for y. So here, if x equals 3, this becomes y equals negative 5 over 3. We let x to be 3, and let's compute for y. So that becomes y equals negative 5 plus 4, because 3 divided by 3 is 1. And this is equal to negative 1. So that means if x is equal to 3, y is negative 1. Then let's assign any other point. Let's assign points that are divisible by 3 so we can arrive at an answer that is an integer. So let's try x equals negative 6. So you have 5 over 3. Let's try x equals 6 plus 4. So here, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10 plus 4 equals negative 6. So our next point is x equals 6 and y is equal to negative 6. Notice that these three points line up together to form a straight line. Let's check if our answer is correct. So it says that our answer is correct. Let's have another one in this level before we go to the last level. We are asked to graph this equation, y equals negative 1 over 5x plus 9. So the y-intercept is at positive 9, and we go down 1 unit, and we go to the right 5 units. So let's review y-intercept is at 9, the slope is negative 1 over 5, so, so go 1 unit down, and 5 units to the right. That must be correct. Let's check. And so our answer is correct. And then let's go to the last level, level number 4. We are asked to make an equation given this line. The y-intercept is at negative 5, so we make this negative 5. The slope, so we can select two points, this point and this other point, with a coordinate of x equals 1 and y is negative 2. So to find the slope, this vertical distance is 1, 2, 3, and we move one unit to the right, here. So the slope must be 3 over 1. And the y-intercept is negative 5. Our answer must be correct. And so we got it right. Let's have another. Given this line, write the equation. The y-intercept is at 5. So we'll make this 5. The slope is we go down 5 units and we go right 2 units. So negative 5 
and positive 2. Let's review. Y-intercept is at 5. The slope is 5 units down, 2 units right. So negative 5 over 2. Let's check. We are correct again. Let's have another one. Put the points on the line. The graph is x equals negative 3. So let's locate x equals negative 3. This is x equals negative 3. So no matter what are the y values, our x value must always be negative 3. So our graph must be a vertical line. Let's check. And so our answer is correct. And one more problem, y equals 3. So no matter what's the value of x, our y value must always be 3. And y equals 3 is this point. So we can line up this point. You can put this point anywhere as long as the y value is positive 3. I can put this point somewhere here as long as the y coordinate of this point is positive 3 you will get a correct answer. So the graph of y equals 3 is a horizontal line with a slope of 0. And let's check. And so our answer is correct. So this is a very good simulation for our students to really understand visually the connection between the equation of a line and the graph the location of the y-intercepts, and how to interpret graphically the meaning of the slope of the line. There are a lot of simulations in this website that you can explore and hopefully help our students understand mathematics better because of these visual simulations. Thank you, thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video.